hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to use create text with gpt in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop under the ai builder category we have an action which is called as create text with gpt this action is in preview mode and it is not available for production use as of now and this action helps you to generate a text using the gpt language model right so first of all what we will do is we will take a set variable action i will click on cancel then I will take set variable and here I will name this variable as text input right and here what I will do is I will pass a text so this is the text that I will use as an input for the create GPT text I will click on save and then from here I will take create text with GPT now what I will do is I will pass this input variable which is text input and the output will be generated into predict v2 response and predict v2 text response and then i will click on save now here you can see that it says that create text with gpt action does not have a content display message or display input dialog action after the create text with gpt action right so whenever you are using create text with gpt action you are required to include either display message or display input dialog action when you will include this action here then you have to use the output variable which is predict v2 text response here what i will do is i will enable the toggle button to keep this dialog box always on the top and then i will click on save why do we need to include display message always after using the create text with gpt the reason behind that is whatever the text has been generated needs to be reviewed by the human so that is the idea of including either display message or display input dialog action right after using the create text with gpt action right if i do not include display message i need to include display input dialog and then in the message i can choose predict v2 text response and you will see that error is gone right so i will just remove this and i will use display message and from this i will use predictive to text response i will keep this message box always on the top and then i will click on save and now let's run the bot It is generating the text with the given information and we will soon see the output now you can see that we have given a text which is generate a response to text below be apologetic humble and creative with the response with that information it has generated this text right so which is saying that i apologize for in inconvenience cause to the issue you have encountered 
right and then I will click on OK so this is your output and if you want to see predict v2 response you can see that we have these two properties so this is the context and dot v2 response dot response v2 is going to give these properties that you can use in your output right so let's say I will modify the input and here what I will do is I will say first name let's say Steven last name Smith and here I will write gender as male and let's say I will type a issue so issue is going to be like my mobile phone is not responding since last night kindly help so this is the input I've given now from here what I want to do is I want to generate an email or generate a professional email addressing the mobile related issue from text input which is this variable I will click on save and then I will click on run here you can see that we have got a very detailed email here which is addressing the name right and here it has detailed all the information related to mobile phone not responding and here you can include your name your company organization and contact information right I will click on OK let's say you want to get only first name from this text input variable give me only first name from text input so now it will just give you first name So here you can see that it is giving I can help you with that based on the information you have provided the first name is Steven let's say if I put it as bulleted point let's run it again So now you see that it was not able to identify the first name it is saying that I'm sorry but I cannot generate the bulleted points right but it has given you some information right about solving the issue related to your phone so that is why they are asking you to include either display message or display input dialog right after using the create text with GPT so that you can review the response and you can make the changes as per your requirement right so let's say I will change the input give me the 
sum of the below numbers I said two six four five eight and in the create text with GPT I will say that generate sum of numbers from text input I will click on save and then run it here you can see that it is saying the sum of the numbers is 25 so if you are going to sum it it will be like 8 for 12 17 and 25 right so this is how you can use create text with gpt action in power automate desktop this action can help you to get the right information from the text and you can utilize it in your automation faster right if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day